Hi, I'm uh, Jerome Plateau. I'm the art director on uh, Robo Recall. So what were your goals heading into this first-person shooter experience? So our goal was to make uh, the player feel as badass as possible. Uh, we wanted to, to uh, also show what a team of 15 people can do in a short amount of time and, and create a, a, a full game uh, in Unreal Engine. That was our, our two main goals, like, uh, make the player have as much fun as possible and also the, demonstrate what, how good the engine can be uh, in, in doing some virtual reality uh, game. How has this game progressed since people last saw it at OC3? Uh, so since OC3 we actually finished our plan. So we were uh, showing only a few of the robots during uh, the OC3 demo and now we have all the robots that are actually on the poster are finally done, uh, they are playable. We also have now a, a lot more uh, uh, environment. So in OC3 we only had one environment and now we have uh, two more maps but also we created a, a variation of those maps like the daytime version and the nighttime version so that the player can actually enjoy the same map, daytime and nighttime, so that creates some sort of a new type of gameplay. At nighttime, you don't see the same thing, like the glowy eyes are actually better to see from far. The, the robots, we can see them from far, but but uh, during the daytime, you actually see them a lot better when you're in close-up. So the, all those little things that, uh, that changed between the daytime and nighttime. Can you talk a little about the environments and how you guys built those? So sure, so the, 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 the first environment is a pretty classic environment, like in a street, uh, a street environment, where the player is actually uh, really easy uh, for him to get in and understand how big is the street, the scale. Uh, it, it's it's an easy way to get in virtual reality. The second environment is a it's a bit more complex. There's a bit more layer, so the player can actually teleport on top of the building, teleport on top of of awnings. And the third environment is actually a completely uh, invented environment where we are on the top of the buildings, and the player can have uh, uh, some really strong vertigo effect, and then uh, throw the robot over the edge, and then see them falling all the way down to the ground. So so that the three environments are like the first one is an easy way to get into the game the second one is a bit more layers to make it more uh, complex and then the third one is everything you can do in the uh, in the game basically yeah. what does uh, playing day versus night open up for those environments so it's the, the the main thing is actually the mood like like you feel probably more oppressed at night and you pay more attention to see certain detail and in the daytime you can see them coming from far so you can anticipate and create different type of uh, of combo like oh, okay i'm seeing like two or three guys coming from very far i'm going to shoot this one first and the, the other one uh, uh, after but during nighttime you don't see them that much so maybe you are more into close contact type of uh, type of combat so that that's that's what brings the daytime nighttime and then we have um the one on the rooftop is actually more for the mood like uh, we have the sunset version of the map which is just pre pretty and then you can see there's a lot of blimps flying around in the environment it just there's one blimp that taking off so it just uh, sometimes uh, just feel feel good yeah can you talk a little about the uh, the art design process with bringing the different robots to life so what we do is we we, um, we do a lot of uh, prototype as much as possible so we do rough shape and then we throw them in VR, we see if the proportion feels good and are interesting, see how big it is, see how far can we see them, uh, are they not too small, are they not too big, so all those elements we uh, we do that in VR, like prototype the, those those big shapes, and then we come back into the regular software, and then we have all the detail added there, and then we do the texture, and then go back into VR and verify everything. How has uh, using the Unreal Engine VR editor helped with the development process? So Unreal, the, the VR editor is really useful at the beginning of the process just to, to block out the very big shape, especially for the environment. Like we can block out the, the buildings, the size of the road, the size of, uh, of uh, the awnings that, that goes over the, the, the player. So all those elements, and it, it's easy to manipulate and move around and say, okay, maybe we should put something like a bridge right here or, or, or like a, uh, a building that like cast a, grow, a big shadow on, on on, on, on the area so so that that's that's the very beginning where you do a lot in VR and then you step back you know your proportion are okay and you go back into the regular software and then do the high high poly and as, as a developer of this game what are your thoughts and hopes in terms of the mod uh, community getting their hands on this technology oh I can't wait to see what people are going to do with the mod like especially like go from the most funny things that they're going to bring, like what is the biggest blaster you can create in, in with Robo Recall, or, or hopefully some people are going to come up with a even better looking robots and all those things that we are really excited to see. Yeah.